Hello oh, friends, uh, a good morning to you all. Yeah, my name is Jonathan and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create um, both offline and online uh, combo question yards. So that at least maybe if you want to, you know, to do data collection online, you can easily do it online without, you know, without installing the Kobo uh, collection tool or without, you know, set, setting up the Kobo collection tool on your phone or on your computer. Yeah, today we're gonna make it easy to show you how you can easily make uh, off, uh, like offline and online interview questionnaires using Kobo collection tool. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to, to come to our Kobo our COB system, and we are going to set some small, small questions. And then we, we test them whether they're going to work or, or online or offline. So what, we can, what, what we're gonna do, we're going to create a new tool, uh, build from scratch. And then let's say maybe learning how to set offline questions offline and online questions and online online questions okay uh sector description maybe we're gonna learn we're gonna learn how to set offline and online online combo questionnaires Okay, uh, sector, I just, okay, here you can just say it may be any, let's say uh, IT, let's say IT, okay, just put any, and then country, you can say country, maybe this is Uganda, you can say Uganda, and then uh, you take that box to help Kobo create, uh, improve on the service, then you create, you create a tool. <coughs> uh, okay, this is our start. So we are going to type anything. Maybe, you know, questionnaires always have introduction parts. So maybe you can say introduction. Introduction, sorry. Introduction. Okay. So on introduction parts, when you come to add question, here, this box shows you maybe you want to make it a text, you want to make it a date, you want to do what, but this is gonna be a note. This is a note. Then you say maybe in this survey, we are gonna learn how to create online, Offline survey, survey questions. Uh, so introduction, you can put your introduction. Hello, my name is Jonathan. I work with uh, Boys Deck. Uh, we are conducting a survey on, you know, all that introduction. It should be under introduction. Yeah, so uh, you still make it a note, a note, okay. So let's go to our questions. Uh, what is your name? What is your name? Uh, so your name, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a text. You can text, someone can easily text his name or her, her name. Then we say, how old are you? How old are you? Okay, with age, you can either make it a text, or oh, you can make it a select one whereby you can put, you can write the ages, maybe five to, to I mean, one to five, six to 10, 11 to 15. Yeah, you can put a select, a select one, but in this term, we're going to maybe to say number. Yeah, where someone can easily uh, write the number. So we have number here. Uh, then we go to maybe, your, where do you come from? Where do you come from? In the bracket, maybe we say village. Village, it's gonna be a text. 
And then uh, we say maybe actual location, actual location. So here we're going to capture the GPS, GPS of the place. So here on the GPS, you come and look for uh, GPS. You can look for GPS, GPS, GPS. We have this point here. This is your point. So this is the GPS point. So you just click on it. Uh, uh, what else can we ask? You can ask maybe how many people, how many people stay in this household? Household. So how many people stay in this household? Uh, what we're gonna do? We're going to say a select one. Let me now take you to that. Maybe one to two, uh, three to four, uh, then uh, maybe five to six. Sorry, five to six. Uh, you can say seven and above. Seven, seven above, seven and above. I hope you can see that. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, we can stop here, we can stop here. Um, we can stop here. Uh, so what we shall do, what we shall do, you will just come here and say save. And uh, after saving your tool, you can come to preview, view your form. You first see what exactly is going on. Is your form organized or it's not organized? You know, yeah, so this is our tool. Uh, learning how to set uh, offline and online question questionnaires. Okay, so you can see the introduction part. It doesn't have anything on it. Hope you can testify that. It's having nothing. You can't type anything. You get the point. Yeah, so uh, what is your name? So someone can either type maybe Jonathan. You see, uh, how old are you? How old are you can, you know, you can put anything you want in years. Yeah, you can even type maybe um, 29 years. And what is your village? Maybe my village is in Kampala. But as you know, Kampala, it's a very big town. So <laughs> that's why we have put also this question of actual location, GPS. So you press the GPS. So maybe let's assume that you've clicked here, my GPS is here, or it is here. It will be able to show you the latitudes, longitudes, and then maybe the altitude, the accuracy. Yeah, in research, you should make sure that the accuracy of the place is below five. It's below five. That's when the, you get the real actual, actual GPS of the place. So we come to how many people stay in this household. This is select one. Yeah, so you can either be like type one, two, three, four, anything. Yeah. So when you check your valid, the valid of the of the of the form, you can see the form is valid. Yeah. So let's see how we can make it offline and online. Okay. So after there. We have to first actually deploy the form. So deploying the form, you just come and click on this stick and then you check for your form. Uh, where the form? Okay, it is in draft here. Learning how to set offline and questionnaire. So what we're going to do, we're just going to you know, click on these three arrows here, and then you click on deploy this project. Hope you can see this. So once you click on deploy, they will show you the, here the message that it will be deploying the form, and when it's done, they will show you deploy the form. So what we're going to do, uh, this is our form. Uh, when you check on the summary, this is the, some things concerning your form. Uh, when you come to form, 
that is it. Once you want to, maybe you've done some edits, you want to redeploy it, you can, you know, yeah, you can redeploy it after maybe doing some edits. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, you come to data collection, you see this data, data collect, you come then here, here you can see all the settings. You want online, offline, multiple submissions. Either you want it online or offline, both, both of them. You want online only. So you can, you, you can do any setting you want. So in case I want online only, I can set it like that. So this means that this person will be able to do data when uh, data collection when his data is on. You can't do offline data. When you want it offline only, you can do still whatever you want. So let's assume that maybe you want it online and offline, we click there. And then, uh, now how can I collect this data using my computer here? What you're gonna do, you just come to copy. Hope you can see this. Uh, try to copy this and then put it in your browser. Let's just copy and paste. That is it. That's our form, the name of our form. So we click enter. After doing so, um, it will be ready, okay? It will be ready. So this is our data now. We are already in the field collecting data. So uh, uh, my name is uh, Navasa Jonathan. Navasa Jonathan. And then how old are you? Maybe I'm 23 years. Uh, my village is in Kampala. And then, uh, and then uh, maybe my location, I just click anywhere in Kampala. And then uh, the coordinates, uh, the coordinates, yeah. How many people stay in this household? Maybe three to five. And then you submit. Once you submit, I want you to observe here. Once you submit, once you submit, you'll be seeing this form. But when you have data, it will automatically go. You understand? When you, your data is on, it will automatically go. I think you've seen, it has already gone. So when I come to my data again, when I come to my data, when I come to my data here, you'll be seeing that one form has been submission. Let me flesh it and you see. You'll be seeing that one form has been submitted. You've got the point now. So when we come to data, this is the form now. This is the form. If you can try to open it, you're going to see that, uh, what is your name? Navasa Jonathan, now order 23. Where do you come from? Kampala, actual address. Uh, how many people stay in this household? It has showed us the start date, the end date, whatever. You get the point. So uh, basically that is what we can say about offline and online. Uh, so if it is offline, the way we had deployed this form, since we had deployed this form, you just go to your phone and then start, you know, start uh, put the setting, the URL of the of the of the of the organization go you stake, and then put the safer name, put the put the password, and then you 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 get the new blank form, and then that's how it will automatically bring this form that we have just done right here. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and uh, kindly subscribe to this channel because we are bringing you new and more videos concerning research, um, concerning graphics and uh, very more other that will be coming. Yeah, so I would love to end from here.